Hello, welcome to the beginning of summer and welcome to the June 2017 edition of Buncombe Monthly, a show right here on BCTV to let you know all about some great upcoming county events. Now, just to let you know, everything I mention in today's episode can be found online at our website at buncombecounty.org. While you're there, check out this program and all of BCTV's great original programming by visiting buncombecounty.org slash BCTV. Well, as of Saturday, June 3rd, all of the Buncombe County outdoor pools will be open. So if you're looking for a fun, inexpensive way for the entire family to cool off, you should definitely check it out. They also offer swim lessons at all five outdoor pool locations. The outdoor pools are located in Cane Creek, Irwin, Hominy Valley, North Buncombe, and Owen. They're nicely spread out so you don't have to travel too far. The cost to swim is $3 per person per day but you can get a 10-visit pass for $15, a $5 savings, a 25-visit pass for $50, a $25 savings. Again, swim lessons are offered at each pool, so you can pick whichever location you like. Lessons are $30 for the four-day session. Spots can fill up quickly, so make sure to visit buncombecounty.org pools for information on registration. Pool hours are Monday through Friday from noon to 5.45 p.m., Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 6.45 p.m., and Sundays from 1 to 6.45 p.m. To reserve pools for after-hour parties, you can visit swimclubashville.com. Otherwise, for more information or directions to any of the outdoor pools, you can visit buncombecounty.org pools. So every year, ASAP gathers together some great local farms in Buncombe County to take part in the farm tour. It's a great opportunity to not only find out where all of your local food comes from, but to try it out. ASAP's annual farm tour is a chance to experience how food is grown and raised in the western North Carolina mountains. You can taste farm fresh products, visit with farm animals, and meet the community's food and fiber producers. Enjoy beautiful western North Carolina working farms through tours, demonstrations, tastings, and hands-on activities. It's taking place on Friday and Saturday, June 24th and 25th from noon to 5 p.m. Where it's taking place is completely up to you as there are 22 farms you have the option of visiting. The cost is $30 each to be a part of this wonderful t The cost is $30 each to be part of this wonderful farm tour and local food movement. For more information about the event or more events from ASAP, the Appalachian Sustainable Agriculture Project, you can visit asapconnections.org. The Buncombe County Soil and Water Conservation District's Camp Wild is back for 2017. It features a week of fun activities for everyone from 6th to 12th grade. I actually looked at all of the events they have going on this summer and even I want to do it. So make sure to register soon as spots fill up quickly. Camp Wild is a five-day long summer camp with one overnight, focused on having fun while learning in the wild outdoors. Participants will explore some of the local sites and attractions of Western North Carolina while learning how to conserve, protect, respect, and enjoy the wilderness. It's taking place the week of June 19th through the 23rd for middle school age and August 7th through the 11th for high school age. Activities include a trip to the Biltmore Estate, a picnic at Sliding Rock, a trip to the Aquatics and Fish Hatchery, snorkeling at Jukebox Junction, a hike at the Appalachian Highlands Learning Center, a day of geocaching and gem mining, and even tubing. For more information or to register, you can visit buncombecounty.org soil. You can also contact tara.lance at buncombecounty.org for further questions. This summer, the Local Cloth, a nonprofit here in Buncombe County, is hosting a six-week summer camp for anyone aged 6 to 16. So if you have a designer to be at home, this is a great opportunity for them to have an outlet for their creativity. Education is an important part of the Local Cloth's mission. With their six weeks of half-day summer camps, they will teach your children about a variety of topics, such as sewing, knitting, felting, dyeing, block printing, and weaving. The summer camp will begin the week of June 12th and go through the week of June 21st. They have two more week-long sessions, beginning July 24th and August 7th. All classes will be held at the local cloth studio at 207 Cox Avenue. The price is $125 per week, plus materials. Siblings registered for the same class will receive a $25 discount. If you have any questions, you can email summercamp at localcloth.org. For more great events from the local cloth, you can visit localcloth.wildapricot.org. 
If you're looking to add a new four-legged member to your family, look no further than the Asheville Humane Society. They have plenty of adoptable dogs, cats, and more who are currently in need of a good home. The best part? When you adopt from the Asheville Humane Society, not only are you saving a life, but all of the pets have been spayed, neutered, received their shots, and some basic training. Buddy is a four-year-old domestic short hair who loves cuddling and taking naps with his owner. Trey is a two-year-old pit bull terrier mix. Trey can be selective about his puppy friends, but he loves all of his human friends. Neelix is a two-and-a-half-year-old domestic short hair mix who likes climbing and watching the family. Stanford is a four-year-old hound mix. He's a goofy dog who loves playing and loves treats. Lena is a two-year-old domestic short-haired mix. Lena was a stray who quickly warmed up to her foster family. She loves napping in sunbeams and playing with toy mice. Atara is an eight-year-old female Alaskan husky mix. She's looking for a home that will give her lots of love, but also know when to give her space. Bruno is a four-year-old domestic short hair. He's very attentive and usually a big talker. Henry is an eight-year-old male hound mix. He only has three legs, but he refuses to let any obstacle stand in his way. Hayes is a one-year-old male domestic short hair. He's shy at first, but will provide lots of love. Boozer is a male eight-year-old hound mix. He's not partial to feline friends, but he loves to be with his people. The Asheville Downtown Association has announced the lineup for the 29th annual Downtown After Five season. It takes place the third Friday every month in the summer from May to September. So if you enjoy good food, good local drinks, and live music, why not start your weekend off on Friday, Downtown After Five? Downtown After Five started in 1988 as a small event to bring people to downtown Asheville and has since grown to draw an average of 5,000 people. Aside from local craft drinks from some of our local breweries, there will also be plenty of food vendors, including Dogs, Gypsy Queen Cuisine, Colonel Mike's Kettle Corn, Moe's Original Barbecue, The Grubbery Food Truck, and more. Music lineups for Friday, June 16th is Headliner Greyhounds, with opener The North Side Gentleman. For more information about Downtown After Five or the Asheville Downtown Association, you can visit AshevilleDowntown.org. Multiple times a year, Asheville Greenworks partners with many local organizations to bring you the Hard to Recycle event. So if you have some harder to recycle items stored up at home, why not drop them off? The next Hard to Recycle event is taking place on Saturday, June 17th at Arvado Digital, 108 Monticello Road in Weaverville from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. There is a great list online of all of the types of recyclables that are accepted on Asheville Greenworks' website. Just visit AshevilleGreenworks.org. Also, if you're interested in volunteering for the event, they're always looking for more envio-friendly citizens to give them a hand. Hard to recycle partners include the Open Box, Biltmore Iron and Metal, Kirby, the Asheville Humane Society, the Asheville Habitat for Humanity Restore, One Click Fix Computer Repair, Blue Ridge Biofuels, and Ink Mountain Recycling. For more information on hard to recycle events or Asheville Greenworks, again, you can visit AshevilleGreenworks.org. There are a lot of fun activities that you can do in downtown Asheville throughout the summer, including the Shindig on the Green, which is celebrating its 51st year. So break out your folding chairs and picnic blankets and sit down for some local folk heritage music. This event is held outdoors at Pack Square Park and is free. It was also voted the number one local outdoor concert in the Mountain Express Best of WNC survey for four years. So bring your instrument, your lawn chair or blanket, family and friends, and join in on the fun for eight summer evening Saturdays. They begin on Saturday, July 1st at sundown, typically from 7 p.m., and they last until about 10 p.m. Concessions are available. So come experience the beautiful music and dance traditions of Southern Appalachia on a summer evening in the mountains. For more information about Shindig on the Green or the Folk Heritage Committee, you can visit folkheritage.org. Woman Up Success Redefined is a great presentation coming up on helping women understand and thrive in today's market economy. It's sponsored by the Asheville Area Chamber of Commerce. So if you're a woman who's looking to be in charge of their life and career, check it out. It's taking place on Thursday, June 29th from 8 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. at the Diana Wortham Theater at 2 South Park Square in Asheville. It begins with networking and a light breakfast provided by Celine and Company's Catering on Broadway. And then goes to the keynote speaker, Meredith Elliott Powell, presenting Success Redefined. 
Powell is the co-host of Spotlight Carolina, a program that focuses on business owners and entrepreneurs. She most recently signed with Ambitious Entrepreneur Network to host a popular weekly podcast, Secrets to Success. This event is open to chamber members and non-members. Tickets are $25. For more information or for more great events like this from the Asheville Area Chamber of Commerce, you can visit AshevilleChamber.org. On Track Financial Education and Counseling is a great local nonprofit here in Buncombe County that provides education and classes on everything from loan management, debt services, and making sure that you have a stable financial future. Here are some classes coming up in June. Classes on money management are taking place on Saturday, June 10th and 17th from 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. NAACP Credit Awareness Project is taking place June 9th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Credit, Get It, Keep It, Improve It is taking place June 2nd, 14th, and 26th from noon to 1.30 p.m. and June 8th and 20th from 5.30 to 7 p.m. Budgeting and Debt Class is taking place on June 1st, 14th and 26th from 5.30 to 7 p.m. and on June 6th and 23rd from noon to 1.30 p.m. Now those are just a handful of the classes. They also have classes in June on home buyer education, understanding reverse mortgages, home energy efficiency, and financial empowerment for women. All the classes take place at their office at 50 South French Broad Avenue in Asheville. For more information about on-track financial education and counseling or more details about the classes, or for more details about the classes, you can visit ontrackwnc.org. What better way to celebrate Father's Day in June than with the Better Dads Festival? It's a celebration of fatherhood that includes everything from live music, games, storytelling, food, and much more. This free, family-friendly event welcomes men, women, and children from Asheville's diverse communities to come explore and celebrate fatherhood in all its forms. It's taking place on Saturday, June 17th from noon to 9.30 p.m. at the Roger McGuire Green in Pack Square Park. Admission is free. Again, you will celebrate with live music, dance, games, costumes, drumming, storytelling, crafts, a poetry slam, and a Dress Your Dad photo booth. Community speakers will invite everyone in the festival to consider how men show up in their lives, the challenges they face, and the many possibilities that exist. For those seeking a deeper connection, there will be sharing circles. For more information about the festival, you can visit betterdadsfestival.com. Every year, the Buncombe County Public Library System has a summer reading program for kids to help keep them interested in books and reading and learning throughout the summer schoolless months. Here are some of the events coming up for the summer reading program. Kids of all ages are invited to Buncombe County Public Library's summer reading program for 2017. Readers are invited to build a better world with activities that include crafts, science experiments, books, and more. Some of the events coming up include a book demolition and reconstruction on Friday, June 16th at Pack Memorial Library. They also have an event at the Oakley South Asheville Library on Saturday, June 17th on Break It, World Record Breakers, where you can try your hand at breaking world records to see how you measure up to the champions. On Wednesday, June 21st at 11 a.m., the East Asheville Library is hosting the Bright Star Touring Theater's production of Happily Ever After. Space is limited, so please sign up for free with a ticket at the East Asheville branch. On Thursday, June 22nd at 2.30 p.m., the Weaverville Library is hosting Hobby Ford's Goldenrod Puppets. You can pick up your free ticket beginning June 8th. And finally, on Friday, June 23rd at 1 p.m., the Skyland South Buncombe Library is hosting a Bowling Bonanza. Join them for some creative destruction. Drop in when you can, and we'll be setting them up and knocking them down all afternoon. All ages are welcome. For more great programs from the Buncombe County Summer Reading Program, you can visit buncombecounty.org slash library. Well, thank you for watching us, and thank you for joining us in downtown Asheville for the June 2017 edition of Buncombe Monthly. As I mentioned before, all the information I'm giving you in today's episode can be found online at our website at buncombecounty.org. While you're there, you can check out County Center, which features great news and information about upcoming events and promotions here in Buncombe County. You can also visit buncombecounty.org slash bctv to get access to the live stream of our channel on your computer, mobile device, or tablet. You can also visit our Facebook page where we post all of our videos at buncombecounty.org slash Facebook. Thank you for watching and have a great June and enjoy those pools, Buncombe County.